Time out, time out, time out for the Monday Morning Mortgage Bank. So we all know real estate prices are so high, they're in the nosebleeds, which is a far cry from 2010 when real estate prices couldn't go low enough. But one guy had the foresight to say, I'd buy thousands of those suckers if I could. Who was that? None other than the investing OC or OG Warren Buffett. See this article from Benzinga and Warren says he would even take out debt to do it. And I thought I was the biggest Monday morning MB. Actually, Buffett didn't make that claim last week. He did it more than 11 years ago, but at the tail end of one of the biggest bear markets real estate's ever seen. And at the time, he said it looked like a really attractive investment provided you were going to buy and hold. Perhaps if you were short, you could get burned. Warren Buffett's got long money for a reason. He likes long holds and famous for saying, don't own anything for 10 minutes if you don't plan on holding it for 10 years. So Buffett said it, but BlackRock actually did it. Now, I wonder if that strategy of buy and hold would work right now. Truth to be told, the statement back then was a surprise because he's not even a fan of real estate. He likes to buy businesses when they're on sale and doesn't even invest in real estate because he says it's usually priced right. So let's go to the videotape and review the Case-Shiller National Home Price Index since 1975. And it's easy to see real estate's done pretty well over the last 50 years. With the exception of 06 to 2012, when things got pretty bad, and there will always be pockets. Take mid-22 to 23, for example. But if you follow the rules of the great Warren Buffett and you hold it long enough, it usually works out in your favor. Surprise number two, he says finance it using a 30-year fixed rate note. Take that, Dave Ramsey. In a 2017 CNBC interview, he praised the 30-year fix as a one-way renegotiation. It's an incredibly attractive investment for the homeowner if you've got a one-way bet. If rates go down, refinance and pay the home off early. They go up, well, you're locked in. Now, the principle behind it is that it will lock in a portion of your housing expense. Say your mortgage payment's $1,000 a month in over 30 years, over time, inflation will erode your purchasing power. So that 1,000 payment coupon will still read 1,000, but it'll feel like 800 based on inflation. So can you make that same claim about rent? Since he made that statement, could you have actually rode that one-way street to lower housing? Well, that depends on when you bought your place in 2012. But history says the numbers worked out in your favor in 2016, 2020, and even a follow-up one year later in 2021. So take in consideration that in 2012, rates were around 3.5%, but even those follow-up years, it was possible to lower your rate in the face of rising home prices. Now, we all have to live somewhere, but home prices and interest rates are making affordability a challenge right now. The level of inventory still makes this a seller's market, but... If Buffett's advice is that real estate's always priced right, and if you're buying for the long term, a buy and hold may still have the advantage to timing the market.